Typical Thursday of my life. Right now I've just got my thermals on. It's the dead of winter here. Haven't been able to skate outside for a long time because I come from the land of the ice and snow. So, makes it kind of hard. Anyhow, plans for today. On Thursdays, I do not have classes, but I do have to turn an assignment in, so I'm going to go do that. And then I think I work today, so you guys will see where I work at now. And also going to skate. So that's pretty much plans for the day. And, uh, well, Thursday. Time to step outside. Oh, it's cold. Oh, yeah. It's cold. It's wet. Okay. Time to go hand this in. And then it's on to fun stuff for the day. Or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Handed my assignment in. Now it's time to go back home and make something to eat. For lunch, I'm having a corn souffle. I also have a few other things, but this is all I've warmed up so far. Um, but right now, I'm working on uh, Wedgwood ramps open to the public. The uh, first edit, I haven't really, as you can see, I haven't put any clips in it yet. So you're getting um, a little heads up on what's going on here because this day in the life is going to be uploaded before this is. On to the next part of the day. I showed up right at opening and uh, got my tripod. So let's get some clips. Some of the guys are here already.
Had a skate session it was good and uh, now I'm sitting in the parking lot of Wedgwood and I'm about to go get some food because I am starving um, probably thinking yeah I'm gonna go to Subway and then I got work at 4 30 
So, well, it's kind of like work. I mean, like, it's a job, you know? But I enjoy it, so it doesn't even feel like work. <laughs> yeah. I went to Subway, and I got the $3 breakfast combo. I got an egg and cheese on the cheesy jalapeno bread. Uh, the type of egg I got was white egg, and then I got um, pepper jack cheese, toasted, with pickles, olives, black pepper, um, honey mustard, and buffalo sauce. Tastes amazing. That's what I always get when I go. And um, I went with the cherry coke to drink and two chocolate chip cookies. Yep, that's going to be my lunch. Just got done eating lunch, and now I'm already at work. Yep. Watching the front desk, it's what I do, and I like it. Go see what everyone's doing. Oh wait, we got some. Oh hey, how's it going? Making a day in the life. <laughs> so I'm off my shift and uh, I'm skating again. Yep, living the dream life. So it's 9.30 right now, it's uh, time for me to go home and put this video together, eat some food, go to bed, and today was a good day. I was actually, um, my coordination was actually kind of up to par today, I'm happy about that. I think that's because it was a little bit warmer today, it actually got above freezing for a change. Because um, when it's just too cold, my body just locks up and my coordination just completely goes to the just completely goes down the drain. So, yeah, now that's a little bit warmer. I think actually next week it's supposed to go up to the 50s. If it's dry, I might try to go do some street skating, but not really too sure yet. It all depends, because it actually will probably still be wet, to be honest. We'll probably, if it's this time of year and it goes up into like the 50s, yeah, it's a 100% chance of rain. But, um, A, you know, if it just so pans out and I'll try to get a small group together and try to go street skating but um it's really about it anyways I'm gonna try to get some more videos to you guys I know I haven't been uploading that much um but I'm gonna try to upload a bit more try to make a few more day in the lives try to make a I have a Wedgwood edit coming pretty soon of like just me and then another edit of uh pretty much like everyone so yeah I got footage for both of those now, the one of just me, that's actually being filmed by uh, Matthew Jackson and Dan Blazer. And maybe a few clips by James Matheny in the future. Uh, haven't gotten any with him. Wait, no, actually, I think I have. Yeah, I have. I'll have to see if he, he can email those to me or something for the edit. Or email them to Dan, because I think Dan might be editing it. Um, not really too sure. But that's what we're planning on doing. 
So I'm going to have a winter edit at Wedgwood. Obviously no street skating because I come from the land of the ice and snow. <laughs> but, yeah. This was a day in my life. Um, a few things I didn't record. Uh, my dude Jared, he actually was across the street. Uh, he ran out of gas, so I had to help him out. And then I had to drop my dude Carl off at his house. He lives, like, right down the road, so that's no big deal. Um, I could do that easily, so I did. Um, but, yeah, just some acts of kindness towards my friends, and uh, just had a good time today, really. And I worked for about four hours. Yeah, four-hour shift at Wedgwood. So that's where I work at. Best job ever. And uh, really looking forward to where this place is going to be going in the future. So uh, you guys stay tuned, and uh, I'm going to try to get some more videos out there. So, have a good one. So I get home and I realize that the moon is shining really bright tonight. It is reflecting the sun very nicely. I can actually see the stars too. This is very, very peaceful. Uh, there's actually the Big Dipper over there. I can actually see it in detail. That's the perks of living out in the country. Oh yes. I'm like, cities are alright. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm alright like with visiting cities going and get like some street footage but I really do belong out in the woods that's where I live that's where I've grown up and um, yeah in the future when I have my own house and stuff it's gonna be out there off of a dirt road cuz that's what I really like Yep. oh wow those stars look beautiful Today was a really good day. My coordination feels like it's back, like I mentioned earlier. But that's because it was warmer today, warmer than it usually was for like the past week. And that makes my body actually able to move a little bit better. Now my coordination wasn't as good as say if it was like 70 degrees. Then my coordination is fine. Still not the most coordinated feller there is, but I'm decently, I'm, I'm coordinated to ride a skateboard so I'm happy with that but wow wow those stars I just I just wonder what the sky would look like if I were to be out here and they were to turn off all the lights in the nearby city that is like about actually a 10 minute drive from here um I wonder what the stop what the sky would look like how many more stars would I see Uh, I actually wonder about the stars that I see right now. How many of them are actually uh, no longer producing light, but I'm seeing the light fragment that they left behind uh, thousands of years ago? Hmm. I always wonder that. So I kind of wonder if, like, as I look at the star I'm looking at right now, that light, if that star is no longer producing light, that means that that light will eventually cease to exist in a way. In a way, it will always exist because the universe is infinitely expanding and it's an infinite space. So that light can always be seen from somewhere. Like there could be a place far enough away to where the lifespan of that star could have already... Uh, been gone but the light is now just visible by a place and at another place the light no longer exists so I sometimes wonder if the star I'm looking at right now a year from now would I still see that same star and right now I see an airplane out there it's a nice flashing light See it floating along. Looks pretty cool. I've always wondered about like the lights in the sky though. I wonder how many uh lights I thought were planes but were actually UFOs. I always kind of think about that and what it really is. But that one I'm pretty sure is a plane. I see the flashing lights and everything, so yeah, but it's a long ways away. That one's about a good twenty thousand feet in the air. Or so. Something like that, whatever height planes fly at. Uh, oh, there's another one. Oh, I can see the jet stream on that one, too. I can see it through the moon. 
The moon's light. See the moon through the jet stream, I mean. But wow. That's actually pretty beautiful. But I do wonder about, uh, what is that called? Uh, it's when, like, I think it's, like, biochem, I don't know. It's, like, some chemicals that they put in the air that, like, cause diseases to, like, it's, like, some type of, uh, conspiracy theory. I've always wondered about that stuff, too. Um, but it's really interesting. There's a lot of stuff that interests me. But I really do like nature. I like looking at the stars. I like looking at the moon. I like... I like nature in general, really. I mean, like, if you go on my uh, Instagram, I do when the weather's nice and stuff. Like, I've actually taken a few winter photos. But, I'm mean, like, winter is kind of beautiful, but I don't know. I, I really do prefer uh, spring and summer. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's just so nice out here. I just can't wait till uh, when the weather gets nice and I start having bonfires at friends' houses again. That's always so fun. Roasted s'more. Uh, it's always so nice. Wow. The moon is huge. I think I just saw a bat. Yeah, that was a bat. Hmm, cool. Anyways, today was a great day.